Hello everyone. In this presentation, we are going to learn about the steps involved in recombinant DNA technology. Recombinant DNA is a DNA molecule which is formed by the different fragments of DNA from the different sources. So to prepare a recombinant DNA, first of all, we will require a donor cell. This donor cell provides us a desired gene which is also known as gene of interest. So the first step is isolation of genetic material from the donor cell. Now, after isolation of genetic material from the donor cell, the second step is fragmentation. In this step, what we do is we cut the genetic material with the help of restriction enzymes. After cutting genetic material with the restriction enzymes, we have different fragments of different length. After this, we have the next step that is screening. In screening, what we do is we search for our gene of interest. After searching gene of interest, what we do is we insert this gene of interest into the cloning vector. So our next step is isolation of cloning vector from the bacteria. After isolation of cloning vector from the bacterium, what we do is we cut this cloning vector with the help of restriction enzyme. These restriction enzymes are the same enzyme which we have used for cutting the genetic material. After this, the next step is formation of recombinant DNA. Here, what we do is we ligate the gene of interest with the cloning vector with the help of an enzyme DNA ligase. After this, recombinant DNA is transferred into a host organism. The process is known as transformation. Now, after transformation, the next step is cloning. In cloning, what we do is, we grow the bacteria into the nutrient medium. So as bacteria multiply, automatically our gene of interest is also getting multiplied. In the final step, what we do is, we perform downstream processing. In this, the product produced by the recombinant DNA is extracted and purified. So this was all about the steps involved in recombinant DNA. Thank you.